Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you have not subscribed to. Boni Halwale wakati alikuwa kakamega. Boni Halwale is coming out to try and tell the residents that ebay ya mafuta imepanda. Yes? But sasa hiyo haina shida. There's no problem with that. The problem is how can we get or rather si hata shida yani hakuna shida vile petroli imepanda kwa sababu already yeye together with government Kenya kwanza wameleta pikipiki ya stima na watu wanamwambia wapi sisi wacha maneno yako sisi hatutaki we don't want those kind of statement you know mafuta imepanda is going to affect us is going to overburden us as you are continuing kujitetea yes we want a solution because sasa mnasema kwamba hii issue ya mafuta ni worldwide wakati uhuru kenyata alikuwa anaambia wananchi hivyo nyinyi wenyewe ndiye mlikuja mkasema uhuru ni mkora now this is whatever boni alole na aliambia wewe wacha maneno yako We don't want your words. Hata wanawaambia we kwenda wacha maneno yako. Anajaribu kujitetea wewe ati oh, sasa hivi msikuwe na shida hii pikipiki ya mafuta hii. Sasa tutawacha tutaenda kwa mafuta kwa pikipiki ya kuchaji na stima. Really? This is whatever people were telling him. Listen to me and listen to me properly. You pay ya makura. You pay ya mpesana. Hiyo ni kweli. Yenze kasi yenje. Si ndio mtu kwa kwa ile kasi ta. Wakati bei ya mafuta imebadilika katika jamii ya ulimwengu. Nimeenda kwa president, tumeenda Korea tumeleta bodeboda yenye wewe uwezi hiyo mafuta. ilipanda hmm? alienda kwa Ruto na wakaenda sijui South Korea wakaleta pikipiki ya kuchajiwa na stima so you don't need fuel you don't need fuel na nikuulize hii pikipiki itatosha watu so unanunua hii pikipiki kama maisha ndio imewafinya hawawezi hata kuweka hiyo mafuta kwa pikipiki wewe unawaambia nini eh hiyo watata wanamwambia <laughs> This we were telling Boni Aloli. Ah wewe hiyo maneno yako wachana naye. You know? Yaani ni uongo tu tupu. Na nyinyi wenyewe ndio mlikuja wakati wa campaign. Mukaambia watu, sikiza. Hiyo uhuru anakunywa, eh kazi yake ni kukunywa tu, hajui kazi. Hmm? It's just wasting wasting our time, eh? Sisi tunataka mtu chague, mafuta tutarudishe chini. Unga ya 70 na ngoja mpaka leo sioni hata kama wana defender tu unga imeredius ni sawa imeredius hata na 5 of kama 20 imeredius lakini walisema inakuja 70 eh yeah? walisema eh, asla fan asla fan interest free <laughs> hey maisha ni mzuri eh yeah? interest free yes 
then when you look at na by the way hii pesa yenye ilikuwa siji women what women fund siji youth fund ilienda wapi you know <laughs> then bonya loli is coming out to tell uh, the, the people of kakamega that look hmm? mafuta imepanda sawa imepanda lakini sasa vile imepanda ni shida ya dunia mzima yes ile kenye uhuru alikuwa anasema eh? now this is a crisis that is affecting all countries across the world wakati huo uhuru kenyata alikuja akawaambia walisema nini ruta akakuja akasema ah mabunuas wananipangia wananipangia waache kunipangia wapange vile wanaweza reduce mafuta now this is where we are this is where we are mimi hata nikiwatch hizi ma videos yenye watu sasa <laughs> mnafukuzwa wacha mfukuzwe because you are liars mnadanganya na mnazidi kudanganya eh boni aliole amedanganya mpaka sasa anacheka <laughs> you know this is the life that we are now have mm? upende usipende this is where we are and what is the solution the solution is we will not have a solution still why because when it comes to election huwa tunakuanga emotional m mm? ah huyu anatuambia yani huwa tunadanganywa na maneno matamu na ule mwenye anasema ukweli hatutaki that is what we are m mm? na kenya kenya tumelelewa design hatutaki ukweli hata mtu mkubwa amegraduate ako na degrees attack you kweli it doesn't want or she doesn't want the truth you know and that is what we are na umejo problem ya wakenya ni hii plus mimi problem yetu ni hii ile kuna shimo pale kubwa sana shimo kubwa na tunaambiwa jameni msisoke karibu na ile shimo ilishaua na nini imeua na nini imeua na fulani fulani you know na and we have evidence hata tunaona evidence. Wa Kenya sisi huwa tunapenda kuwa Thomas. Hmm? We will try. Tutajaribu eh nani alikufa kweli? Wacha tujaribu. Tunaweka miguu hivi. You know? You know we, we always want to uh, uh, learn lessons. Nene ni si kwa wengine, kwa sisi wenyewe. We want to learn lessons in, in our true life, you know? Sasa Nyenye muliambiwa na Uhuru Kenyatta mukadhani Uhuru Kenyatta ataenda ku benefit. Uhuru Kenyatta ako Dubai anajienjoy vizuri. <laughs> Ati wa punishing Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga not to be the president. Now, here we are. Raila Odinga hata mafuta fike pa lita 1000 na tanunua. Yes. <laughs> Atanunua. Wacha unga ifike hata 500. Raila atanunua. Kwanza Raila anaenda kampuni. You know? Hii watu wanawapigia kelele ati tulikuja kununua you know hata hii hii hi stima wakati walisema stima sijui tokens zimepanda ndini nyoro ni namba tatu kwa shares ya stima namba tatu, you know hata kipanda hivyo hao wanafanya biashara so that is where we are hmm? nyenye mulitusi uhuru we peleke ule yako huko jamaa sasa yako dubai ameweka tu mguu hivi ana relax unyeni nyama choma na wine ana relax pole pole muliambiwa Mutege masikio musikie amukusikia ndio hiyo ndio hiyo muliambiwa jamii ni musikize musikize unye akaenda na kura akasema musikie inywe <laughs> muliambiwa musiki sasa ile mimi hata munitusi muniambia nini ile sukari tunanunua hapa ndio unanunua pale the same wacha tununue hiyo mafuta hivyo Wacha wazidi kutuambia uongo ikifika hii wakati huo tena wakuja na maneno matamu tena wawekwe ndani tena mufinywe niliona <laughs> I was watching a certain video ya mama mzee sijui ilikuwa kiambu ama wapi alisikia mafuta ilipanda aliruka ni kama anataka kuwa mwendo wazima alisikia sasa hii maisha inaitupeleka wapi that is where we are you know it is so pathetic that Kenyans will never learn na to so many lessons na kesho tutava watu watavaa nguo za yellow tukisema hasora UDA UDA hmm? in fact mimi nataka ruto tena chaguliwe <laughs> ah, by the way let me tell you the truth let me tell you the truth those who are inazimio they are happy because 
they were prepared and they knew already this was the life wanaenda kupitia. Hii ndio maisha walikuwa wanaenda kupitia. Wewe na kierere na kukua emotional ndio hiyo. Mimi hatu nitusi ile story naenda kununua pale kwa duka wa NKG. Ndio pale unanunua Mombasa ndio unanunua pale Kirinyaga ndio unanunua Nyanza. Is none of our business. Hii ndio maisha sisi tumejiweka, you know. I know I know something that is very crucial also. Even if we attack Ruto yes. But I know if Raila Odinga could have been the president today, Mark Mawats. Maneno yenye kwa hivi. I know that mimi hata useme ati wapi oh in hiyo ni ukweli. Inge kwa hivi, you know. Because this is the situation we are sisi ndio tulijiwekea. Na uongo wa watu wako na uongo mwingi, you know. Hata kama Raila hangeweza kutimiza zote, you know. At least the government of Raila Odinga could have been at least at least wangekuwa na solution. Hata kama mafuta ingepanda ama nini wangekuwa na ukweli kwa sababu sisi tuliwaambia ukweli, ukweli. Lakini muliambiwa uongo mkadhani uongo ile. Kwani au Kenya kwanza wako na tuliambiwa twende tuchimbe kisimaya mafuta na Moses Kuria. It is gentle. What happens? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share this video.